Come on students, now we'll start the next problem on process costing that is problem number 17. Last two, two more problems and these two problems are entirely different. Here we have the stock. The stock in process accounts. The process accounts with stocks. The information given below is extracted from the cost accounts of a factory producing a commodity in a manufacture of which three processes are involved. Prepare process cost account showing the cost of the output and the cost per unit at each stage of manufacture. The value at which units are to be charged to process 2 and 3 is the cost per unit of processes 1 and 2 respectively. That means in process 2, the opening stock and closing stock will be charged at the price of the first process. In a first process, may be cost per unit rahega that will be charged for opening and closing stock of second process. Usitra, second process ka jo cost per unit rahega, that will be taken in third process, opening and closing stock. Wastages are normal and have no realizable value. Opening and closing stock represent unit received from previous process on which no further work has been done in the process concerned. So opening and closing stocks are coming from the previous process. And current process, no work has been done on opening and closing process, opening and closing stock. So opening stock and closing stock should be valued at the cost per unit of the previous process. Then process number 1, 2, 3, direct wages are given, machine expense are given, factory on cost, material consumed. These are the expenses on each process. Now units, production, gross. 2750 gross units are produced in process 1 and wastage in process 1 is 150 units. There is no opening stock, no closing stock in the first process. The first process, no opening stock, no closing stock. So there is no need to prepare process stock account. Process stock, process 1 stock account, there is no need to prepare because there is no opening and closing stock. Second process, we have 210 wastage is 210 opening stock 250 units and closing stock 440 units and third process wastage is 200 there is a misprint in the problem in the problem it is written 210 it is not 210 it is 200 make it 200 so in the third process wastage 200 units opening stock 500 closing stock 100 that's all this is the problem with stocks in the earlier problems, no problem, we have the stock. This is the first problem where we have the process stock. Now see, process number one. To material, the gross production is 2750 units. And how much material was used? 8000 rupees material was used. Direct wages, machine expense, factory on cost. All these are the debit side items. Now wastage, normal loss is there. The wastage in the first process is given in the problem 150 units. And there is no scrap value from this wastage. So 150 units, we have taken wastage. Now balancing figure. The output of process 1 will go to process 2. So by process 2 account, output transferred. So take the total on the debit side, 13,000. 2,750, 13,000. 2,750, 13,000. Now 2,750 minus 150, you will get the balancing figure 2,600. This is the output. And 13,000, take 13,000. So 13,000 is the value, 2,600 is the quantity. What is the per unit? 13,000 divided by 2,600, 5 rupees per unit is the cost in process 1. And this 5 rupees will be taken for calculating the value of opening stock and closing stock of the second process. In the problem it is given that in each process the opening stock and closing stock should be valued at the previous cost per unit. Previous cost per unit. In a unit number 2 major opening stock, closing stock, lenge, the unit number 1 ka cost per unit lenge. The unit number 1 cost per unit is 5. Now output is given going from process 1 to process 2. The process 2 account to process 1 account 2613,000. We have taken the input. Now apart from the direct wages, machine expense, factory on cost given in the problem, we have taken all expenses. Create side by wastage. In second process, there is a wastage of 210. Now output from process 2 will not go to process 3. It will go to process 2 stock account. Because we are given the opening stock and closing stock of process 2. That's why we are making two accounts. 
process 2 account and process 2 stock account then process 3 account process 3 stock account right so here the process 2 the output of process 2 is 2390 2600 minus 210 2390 the total of the debit side 20750 so 20,750 divided by 2390, 8.68. This is the value of the output in second process. This will go to process to stock account. Now process to stock account, opening stock. Opening stock is given in the problem 250 units. Only units are given, value is not given. Now it has given in the problem that the opening stock and closing stock should be valued at the cost of the previous process. Cost of the Previous process. The first, uh, second process se pahle wala process kun sa hai? First process. In the first process, what is the price cost per unit? 5 rupees. So we calculate 5 rupees. So 250 into 5, you'll get 1250. Now to process 2 account. Process 2 se kitna hai? 2390 and 20,750. This is coming from process 2 account. Create side by closing stock. It is given in the clo problem clo closing stock 440. Now again 440 should be valued at 5 rupees. This 5 rupees is applicable to opening stock as well as closing stock. So 5 into 440, 2200. Now balancing figure process 3. Now the output of process 2 stock account will go to process 3 account. So by process 3 account 2200, debit side total 2640. 2640 minus 440 you are getting 2200. Similarly debit side total 22,000. 22,000 minus 2,200, 19,800. So 19,800 divided by 2,200, 9 rupees per unit. 9 rupees per unit is the cost per unit in process 2. Now this will be used for calculating the opening and closing stock of the third process. Third process, when opening and closing stock ka value, karenge, to there we will take cost per unit rupees 9. Now we are in the third process. Third process debit side to process to stock account. From process to stock account, I have taken here. So 2200, 19,800, wages, machine expense, factory or cost. Take the total. By wastage, 200. Then balancing figure, debit side you take 2200 minus 200, 2000. Debit side total 28,400, 28,4. So 14.20 is the cost per unit. Now we'll take the process 3 stock account. Process 3 stock, opening stock 500 units given in the problem at the rate of rupees 9 per unit. Previous stock, jo 9 rupees ka. So 9 rupees, 9 into 500, 4500. Then this is process 3 stock account, process 3 account. 2000 units, 28,400. By closing stock, 100 units given in the problem into 9, 900. By finish to stock, balancing figure, debit side 2500 minus 100, 2400. Debit side 32,900, 32,900 minus 900, 32,000. So per unit it comes to 13.33. That's all. This is the end of problem number 17. Come on students, now we are in the last and final problem on process costing. So we have done so many problems. Last one is 18th problem. So totally 18 problems are enough to get a command for, write, uh, for writing the, in examination. You will have a good grasp on the topic of process costing. So now see the 18th problem, last and final. After this, we'll st start the next topic. So from the following figures, show the cost of the process of manufacture. The production of each process is passed on to the next process immediately on completion. The process A, B, C. Wages and material that is given for all the three processes, debit side. Works over it, given for all the processes, debit side. Production in units. The production in units is given for first A process 36,000, B process 37,500, C process 48,000. So individually production is given in each process. Apart from that, stock on first July units from preceding process. So opening stock and closing stock is given. Stock on first July is opening stock. Stock on 31st July is the closing stock. So opening stock units, closing stock units are given. But there are no stocks for A process. In A process, there is neither opening stock nor closing stock. For B process, opening stock 4000 units and closing stock 1000 units. For C process, 16,500 opening units 
and closing units are 5,500. In this problem, normal loss is not given. We have to find out the normal loss. We have to find out the normal loss. Example, in the first process, there is no opening, no closing, nothing. So no normal loss. Whatever is the input, the same is the output for A process. For B process, we have to find out because we are getting an input of 36,000. Then we are getting an output of 37,500. There is opening stock of 4,000 and closing stock of 1,000. That's why we have to show it. Now process A account. In process A account, wages and material, 36,000 units is the production. And 30,400 30, is the value. 30,400 is the wages and material. And the production in this A process is 36,000 units. And works over it is given 5,600. That's all. Nothing is given for this A process. Take the total. Units are 36,000. Amount is 36,000. The whole of this thing will go to next to process B. So process B account output balancing figure 36,000, 36,000. The output transferred at 1 rupee per unit. So here in A process, the cost of output is 1 rupee per unit. And this 1 rupee per unit will be used for calculating the opening stock and closing stock of the second process, B process. Now process B account. So first we'll take opening stock. It is given in the problem opening stock 4000 units. <clears throat> and this 4000 units are coming from the previous process that is given in the problem. That is specified in the problem that opening stock and closing stock are coming from the previous process. The previous process is A. What is the cost per unit? 1 rupee. So 4000 into 1 rupee, 4000 rupees. To process A, how much input we are getting? 36,000, 36,000. To wages and material, 12,000 rupees, works over at 5,050. The total is 57,250. Right? Now, closing stock. The closing stock in B process is 1,000 units. These 1,000 units will be valued at 1 rupee each. Opening stock and closing stock, both will be valued at the preceding process. 1 rupee. So, 1,000 rupees. Now, output is given. Production is given in the B process. The production is 37,500. So, actually, input was 40,000. 4,000 plus 36,000, 40,000. Out of 40,000, how much is the closing stock? 1,000. So, 40,000 minus 1,000, 39,000 should be the production. But instead of 39,000, it is given 37,500. So, remaining 1,500, what had happened? That is nothing but normal loss. Loss in weight. Wastage. So, 1,500 is a normal loss balancing figure. Now both the sides it is equal 40,000, 40,000. Right? So normal loss balancing figure 1,500. No scrap value. Now by process C, 37,500. Take the total of the debit side 57,250. From 57,250 minus 1,000, 56,250. So 56,250 divided by 37,500 you will get 1 rupee 50 paisa. Per unit cost is 1 rupee 50 paisa. This 1 rupee 50 paisa will be used to calculate opening stock and closing stock. Of the next two process, process C, to opening stock one rupee fifty paisa, sixteen thousand five hundred units. The opening stock is sixteen thousand five hundred units at the rate of rupee one point five zero. So sixteen thousand five hundred into one point five, twenty four thousand two fifty seven fifty. That is the value of the opening stock. Then to process B input, the output of process B will go to process C. So process B, 37,500, 56,250. Wages and material given in the problem, or works or given in the problem. Now, by closing stock. The closing stock is 5,500 units that is given in the problem. This will be valued at 1 rupee 50 paisa. Same value, 1 rupee 50 paisa, 1 rupee 50. So 8,250. Now see here, 16,500 plus 37,500, it will become 54,000. 54,000 means, the closing stock is 5,500. So 54,000 minus 5,500, you should get 48,500. Minus, 54,000 minus 5,500, you should get 48,500. But in the problem it is given, the production was only 48,000. Production is 48,000. So what had happened to the remaining 500 units? That's a normal loss. The normal loss balancing figure 500. 
Now take the total of the debit side 1 lakh 16 to 50. 1 lakh 16 to 50 minus 8,000 to 50. 1 lakh 8,000 is the value of the output. For how many units? 48,000. Divide the 1 lakh 8,000 divided by 48,000 you get 2.25 per unit. That's all. These are the three process accounts. So we have completed all the problems on process costing. So uh, the viewers, if you are regular to my channel, if you are watching all the videos of cost accounting, so you have uh, you have seen we have completed the three chapters. That is unit and output costing, job costing, process costing, and contract costing. Four chapters we have completed. So if you are if you are regular, then definitely you have gained a lot of knowledge on this topic of cost accounting. So if you are new to my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you are old viewer, please share it in your groups so that more and more students can be benefited from this channel. So if you are a new viewer, you can go to the playlist, the playlist of my channel. If you visit the playlist, you can find a number of videos on advanced accounting, corporate accounting, financial accounting 1 and 2. Then business statistics one, business statistics two, and apart from that, financial management, investment management. So many subjects videos are available in my playlist. So whichever subject you want, you can go and watch the video. It will be very very helpful to increase your knowledge. So okay, so we have completed eighteen problems. We'll continue this in the next video with the next topic. Inshallah.